So I've been looking at that scrap bin for ages, thinking that needs thinning out. And I saw some friends making these on Instagram. So I thought I'd just bang it all together and see what happens. I chose to rip these boards to about 30 mil to give me enough to plane to about 20 mil finish thickness. I'm only going to thickness them just to give me a nice glue line and not going to bother screwing them faces up on the planer. I kind of like the idea that the lines aren't parallel when it's all said and done and when it's finished. Ripping this lot took some time. There's a mixture of ash, oak and I think a bit of brown oak made its way in there somehow. I took my time over this bit. I kind of like the darker woods in the middle. Kind of reminiscent of the spine on the body as it were and the lighter woods on the outside. Kind of just made more sense visually for me. So that's what I went with. As you can see, a lot of those boards aren't parallel. There's gaps and everything, but that'll come out in the clamps and it'll look fine in the end. I'm going to be sculpting it anyway. I'm going to be gluing this lot up in two parts because the finish width would be too big for my planer or thickness up. Those old dominoes you can see in the ash, they do come back to, to bite me in the arse later on. I saw them out because I'm going to be sculpting it anyway. You wouldn't know unless you'd seen this video. I use Type Bond 2 and 3 for all of the gluing up. The whole product mainly for the fast drying time and its water resistant capabilities which is going to be needed for the purpose this board will serve. As clamps go, bar clamps, pipe clamps, whatever you want to call them, they are by far my favourite. I've got some F clamp type clamps you get glue on them those tiny little notches all running around along the rail they clog up they're an absolute pain in the ass to clean pipe clamps glue just flicks off of them they're really quick to clean and even with a bit of glue you can still slide the clamps up and down really quick and simple something I struggle with when it comes to planing boards like this I prefer to use my hands I don't like to use those push block things, but when your hands are dry, it's difficult to get the board. But using your hands, you get to feel what the board's tipping or rocking or whatever it's doing underneath you. If you're ever getting black marks from your rollers, this solves that. Safe to say that's not going to be a glue starved joint, that's for sure. I had this left over from an old chopping board. I think it was uh, Spelian oak.
I'm using the Shinto saw rasp for this. Quite a good rasp, removes a lot of stock, has two sides, one coarse, one medium I'd say. But pretty damn good. I probably should have used the angle grinder and the cutting discs I use for shaping stuff. I think they're called suburb grinding discs. Could have been a bit faster and less work, especially in 30 degrees. I'm assuming here everyone knows you how to use tracing paper or what I'm doing exactly with the lead and stuff. If not, hit me up in the comments. Don't be shy. Yes, I know what that looks like, and no, that's not what I'm making. cut well outside my line for this because I could see once I'd cut the uh, void there that might have not left me enough meat so I thought I'd give myself an extra five mil from that line. You'll notice the uh, shape of the top end there. That did change because I screwed up. I completely lost my line. When you go past or lose your crafting lines, it's pretty difficult to recover from it. And this was probably made worse because you see that glue line of the sapili and oak. They're not on center, so visually you've got no gauge there. But uh, I still got it done. Sorry about the background noise here. Someone's using my jet washer and hasn't told me, so didn't notice happening with my noise cancelling headphones on. Bit of a pain. Thank <laughs> you. 
using mineral oil here, which I find pretty decent. And I put on two coats of this, followed by a butcher block wax, which is feed safe. Thank <laughs> you. 